All right, family, it's Tasha Mom by Prepping. It's Saturday, let's get into it. We are going to talk about what nobody else wants to talk about. What um, the, you know, the elephant in the room, in this case, the monkey in the room. Nobody wants to talk about what's going on with monkey pox. Um, nobody wants to, you know, it was in the media a little bit. Hey, this is happening, this is happening. But I guess we're just gonna wait. You know, we're just going to wait till it gets too crazy and then we're going to come up with a plan of what to do and we're going to be real reactive. We're not going to be proactive. We're going to be reactive. So this video is just to give you an update. That's it. I'm just updating you. Did a little research today. Just kind of got up. Um, been watching this for a while, but just wanted to see what's the latest numbers, what's the latest stuff that's happening, what's the latest guidance that they're saying. And so I'm just going to share that with you. That's it. Okay. We're just going to discuss it so that if you are not ready yet, you haven't gotten your preps, you haven't gotten your things that you need to be able to be ready for this. Should this come your way to your household? Um, you know, I hope that this doesn't really go anywhere, but I would hope that you would stay vigilant enough and you should prepare. You should be preparing for smallpox, for pox anyway in your home and have that as part of your preps. But, um, and this is kind of the same realm, okay? So very, very easy to prepare for this, okay? In case you have to do some kind of home treatment later. All right, so let's talk about facts. I want to do facts with a grain of salt though, because we say it's facts. We found it online. This is what um, numbers and different things that are being said out there. Who knows though what the truth is and if the, these are even accurate. Okay. So right now what's happening? Um, this is currently the biggest monkeypox outbreak that we've ever had in the United States by far the biggest one. There was one back in, uh, don't get me quoting, I think it was 2003, was fairly large. This is the biggest one that we've had um, ever for us. So by that alone, that should be a big deal. Um, there's 2,100 confirmed face it, cases around the world, right? Um, it's like, tw it's over 2,100 though, okay? So 2,100 cases, that's over 39 uh, countries, there has actually been a death. And when I say death, there's been deaths before, but this is a death since January. We have one death um, since this 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 year, we'll say, outbreak. Um, and that was somebody in Nigeria, okay? Um, we have, um, oh, this was a, a interesting thing that I read or fact, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Um, only takes one case of monkeypox for it to be considered an outbreak. So obviously, depending on what things happen, there's a there's a number that's always attached to something before it's considered an outbreak. In the case of monkeypox, it only takes one case for it to be considered an outbreak. That should tell you how serious this type of disease has the potential to be, okay? Now let's get into the United States. So when I first did a video several weeks ago, um, like, hey, this is here, there was very, it was like five states and it was like nine cases, right? And this was literally just a few weeks ago. It is now up to 72 cases. That's spread across 18 states now. It's funny because you know, you have folks like me who are tracking this, talking about it, maybe mention it to friends, mention it to coworkers, maybe nurses, other people. And of course, everybody's like, just relax. It's fine. Calm down. Like you're freaking out over nothing, even though I'm not really freaking out at all. I'm actually really, really calm about this. What I think is interesting, though, is how people are like, no, it's OK. It's fine. There's nothing to be concerned about. And then it pops up and they're like, oh, wow, well, maybe there's something to be concerned about. This is here, right? It's hitting people, local places that are like, what? It's here, right? So um, I think that it's important for you to watch this and to understand how close it is to where you're at. Understand that, yes, the majority is um, gay men, right? Men who have vocalized that they are participating in, you know, men on men sexual activities, right? 
a lot of the symptoms have to do with those areas, right? Almost, almost like um, STD like, right? Is is the nature of what it's acting like. Um, but don't sleep on that, okay? Because you can clearly get it from skin to skin, um, body bodily fluids, that type of thing, um, sexual con contact, right? Um, but don't sleep on that. That's don't don't be so naive to be like, well, I'm not in that category, so it can't come to my house. It can't get to me. Don't don't be naive like that. Okay. Um, let's see. So 72 cases in 18 states. That's in the United States. Um, and like something like 19 of those cases are just this month alone in June, right? So we're halfway through the month and like 19 cases um, are from this month alone. Um, highest cases are in other countries above our numbers are uh, countries like UK, Spain, Germany, Canada, Portugal, France. Those countries have the highest numbers um, of cases um, outside of of, of us we we have the 72 but like for the example the uk it's like 500 plus right some of those other countries 100 plus 200 plus right what's different about this is the symptoms are are different so i wrote this down what's being reported um now is that one what's re what's being said over and over and over is that this thing is not acting like it normally acts. It's not behaving in a manner that it normally behaves in. That should give you concern. That should give you pause for concern that we really don't know. Viruses, they manip they be can be manipulated. They they can they can grow into other things and develop into other things and we really just don't know. And you can kind of see that with the symptoms. With symptoms, right? Used to be fever, swollen lymph nodes, headache, muscle aches, and then you would get the rash, right? You would get the, the pustules, the little lesions all over your body. Predominantly, your hands and your feet is where most of those would happen, right? But you could get them all over your body, but m mostly it's your hands and your feet. That was before. Now what they're seeing is they're seeing um, the rash come first. They're seeing the rash develop in the mouth and in the genitals, um, genital areas. It, that their pustules are scattered or localized, that they're not even like all over the body. They're predominantly not on your hands and feet. They're predominantly in the mouth and in your, your private areas, right? And it's just scattered here and there, maybe a couple of lesions, kind of like an STD, right? You, you, you get some bumps and you're like, oh, there's some stuff going down down there. And it's, it's sounding like it's kind of like that. You have a, a group of folks that are having, you know, sex, it's kind of running rampant right now in that community, right? But that can go anywhere, right? That's, that's from sexual contact. So that can go anywhere. Okay. Um, that's not just a, uh, a gay man disease or something that's happening, but this thing is developing and growing into something that they haven't seen before. It's behaving in a way that it has, that it hasn't before, right? Um, so scattered, localized lesions. Some folks are not having symptoms at all, right? They're 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 being they're being found out by contact, right? And then being tested or whatever, and then they're having it, and they're not even having these symptoms that I'm talking about. Okay, so again, you should just be paying attention because we don't know what this is. We don't know how bad this can get. Could this fizzle out and? and be fine and by the winter time this is not a thing we're not talking about it anymore or is it fast forward and we're in a covid environment again craziness where we're being reactive and we're not we you know we're throwing out these policies and mandates and we don't really know what's going on you know they threw out that mandate for the masks which was just ridiculous it's not ridiculous in the sense that they didn't know exactly if how you could get it. Again, it was beha it was acting and behaving differently. So of course, if droplets, right, is something that they were concerned about, okay, maybe masks. But it's just ridiculous that uh, we just 
threw that out there. Like we just were like, well, just, just do this. And they quickly retracted that. Okay. Quietly retracted it. And it, it's just, it's just asinine how we react to stuff when we know this is coming. It's here. We know it's here. We have all the time right now to get ahead of this in, in a crazy way. But instead, we're just going to slow crawl. We're just watching it. It's no big deal. It's just a few cases. Yeah, it's acting funny. It's acting in a way that it doesn't normally act. But don't worry about it. We got this, right? And so that's concerning to me. Um, another thing that I, I saw, and again, this just made me realize how silly this is going to get, how, you know, I just get very, very disgusted on, you know, all the race stuff, sexual stuff, woke stuff, let's change the world and make sure everything is fair stuff. And, um, one thing that I did come across this morning is that they're already discussing changing the name. Now, in their defense, it sounds like it's the scientists that want to change the name because of because it's behaving differently, because it's acting differently, because it's not necessarily something that came from those countries. Because yes, it's they're talking about it's a little bit of derogatory to to name a virus from like an area, right? And we've been talking about pox and monkeypox coming from Nigeria and that whole area for years and years and years. And um, they're basically saying that that's not cool. But again, in, in my head, I just hear all those folks, you know, talking about, um, you know, that's just so disgusting. It's called monkeypox, you know, like, <laughs> I just... <laughs> I can't, I cannot. What we need to be concerned about is not the stinking name, okay? And then what happens, you change the name and now there's all this misinformation about what is happening, what what outbreak is actually out there. You know, you already have people who don't know what's going on. Then you have people who kind of know what's going on. Then something else that's renamed comes out and then people think that's something totally new, but it was really this thing that we're dealing with right now that's happening in front of us. So I just, um, I can just see the nightmare that's ahead of us possibly for this and i hate it and so um all you can do is continue to prepare continue to stack up the things continue to get the things that you need continue to get your medical supplies get the things you specifically need for smallpox monkeypox outbreak if hospitals were overran were closed down you could not get to them yes people are like this is not like covid you know we already have um vaccines we already have medicines we, we already have stuff to um handle this world of pox right but do we are we ready for it are we truly ready for it i mean we've already seen how we handle a pandemic right and this supposedly we are ready for and we already are not really being told a lot okay and that's the problem that i have with this is if we already had something and we're cool and we're just discussing it and hey this is what's going on da, 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 da. i don't know we were just discussing a little bit more than and to ensure that more of americans kind of knew what was going on not just flashing it on one news station or a couple news stations here and there where the average person just isn't going to see it isn't going to get the information i don't know it's just a little it's just a little daunting and and depressing a little bit to think of um where this could go and their reaction and, and all you can do is prepare make sure that you have things in your home to be able to aid your own family members something happens you need to be able to treat the symptoms in your house right um what do you do for those symptoms that i told you how do you treat those pestles you know how do you keep somebody well that's in your house that possibly um can't be seen by the hospital you know um who knows? Okay. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this, you know, because I know it's like it ramped up a little bit all on these channels. People were talking about it. Even the news was talking about it for a little bit. And then it's just kind of sizzled out and nobody's talking about it anymore. Not channels, not the news media, not ma main media, not side media. Like nobody's really discussing this. And that's that's irritating me hardcore that we're slowly just going to let some stuff happen. Okay. 
And what we haven't dealt with, which should also give you concern, is a pandemic and a no food crisis, a famine and a pandemic. That's not that I don't know about you, but that's not something that I'm trying to go through. But if things get crazy, that's what you can expect. And how do you get through that? Okay. And how do you deal with the people around you that are not ready and absolutely cannot do both, right? It's not like they can just kind of like COVID and just kind of, um, you know, ask for help and get on the ball with, the, you know, help and assistance from other places and they can just kind of adjust and get through it. You doing that with no food, that's a whole other ball game. That is a whole other ball game, and all types of other issues are going to surface because of that. So that's enough of me babbling today. Um, you guys be safe. I hope you guys have a blessed weekend. Enjoy your Sunday tomorrow, and I'll see you guys Monday bright and early. Take care. Bye.